We all love finding a bargain in Football Manager, but none more so than when that player costs you absolutely nothing, when you're able to sign a player as a free agent. Now in today's video, we're going to give you over 20 picks of some of the best free agents that you can pick up at the start of your save in FM24, some for your low-level mid-table Premier League teams and some that we're willing to play in the lower division. So hopefully there'll be something for everyone. Before we get started with our 20 plus picks for this free agents list, I want to ask you you guys if you could help us out massively take a few seconds to smash that like button it's free to do and it really helps with our videos in terms of their performance and subscribe if you haven't already double daily videos during the course of the beta for fm24 and then after that we'll still be having daily videos here on the channel throughout the life cycle of fm24 highlighting players tutorials guides anything you need this is the place to be for fm content drop a comment down below your favorite free agent so far so we have an even bigger list down there and with that being said let's get started no particular order in today's video, but we're going to start off with what is the youngest player in this list, I believe. It is 20-year-old Nemanja Jovic, who can play on the left-hand side and has Serbian international caps. He's been playing at Partizan for most of his career, but is now available as a free agent. And whilst he's not going to set the world alight or be the next Messi or anything like that, for free, you're getting a player here that could potentially play at a Premier League level without too much development. If we use the English divisions as a measure for these guys, I'd say he's a championship level player with the potential to get into the Premier League one day and be a good player in that division. Lots of great attributes to start off with to build up from, not lacking in any particular area too much. And as much as I'm going to talk about the reasons why you should get these guys and their attributes, all of them are on this list for a reason. As a free transfer, they make perfect sense. Some are going to ask for more money than others, but if you can get them in your team, they're certainly going to be worth that investment. A player that plays a similar position but is a lot more experienced is Amen Yunus, who is actually a German international with eight appearances and two goals goals for the national team. He's been doing a tour of Europe, playing in Germany, Netherlands, Italy, then went to Saudi Arabia, back to the Netherlands, to Saudi Arabia again, and now he is a free agent. With good dribbling ability, acceleration, agility, and pace, he certainly hasn't lost his physical attributes yet, and he might have a few years before he even gets to that point. Combine that with the 16 technique, 15 first touch, nice passing ability, and flair, and you have a player who could definitely help a relegation threatened team in the Prem, but if nothing else would be a very, very talented option in in the championship. Just a side note before we continue, these aren't the only good free agents out there in the game. I'm highlighting some of my favourites here, but if you want a full list of some of the best that you can find, then check out the description because in there will be a link to a web page on FM Scout which has all of the best free agents rated. So once you've watched this video and you've seen my personal picks, then go ahead, check that link out and you will find some great players on there too. And whilst you're down there, you will see a link to my own channel. I'm Jake, I make videos here on FM Scout on a regular basis, but I also have my own channel where we do football manager content, but more let's play entertainment style. We've got a Chelsea rebuild coming out today, so I'd really appreciate it if you come on over, give the content a chance, and I really do think you would enjoy it. But let's get back to the list. And we're going for the oldest player on the list now. We've seen the youngest, now we've got the oldest. It's Fabio Quagliera, the Italian 40 year old who's got plenty of international appearances and goals and is a Sampdoria legend, really. And you can see that here. He is an icon at the club, apparently. His physical attributes have completely deteriorated, let's be honest, but he has still got that finishing ability to first touch to penalties the passing I mean mentally and technically he is exceptional it's just his physical is where he's lacking so for a season or two if you can make a tactic that really suits him maybe have him as a poacher or like it says here deep line forward don't make him do too much work stick him on penalties and he'll still hit you 10-15 goals a season I'm fairly confident of that Someone that's definitely still got legs in him though is Helder Costa, the Angolian 29 year old who most people will know from his time at Leeds, but he's also spent his career at Wolves and Benfica, went to Saudi Arabia and is now available as a free agent. Now physically, he's still got the pace, the acceleration and the agility. Mentally, he's not the best, but he's still got some nice attributes there. But it's his technicals where he's gonna cause some nightmares for defenders with 14 dribbling, 15 technique, combined with that acceleration and agility, he's gonna be a great player at getting past the fullback. Now he can play on the left, Left or the right, so he's a really good option if you're looking for some squad depth. Now, this list was meant to be 20 players, but I made it 21 just to include this guy purely because of his name, Yaya Banana. I mean, what more could you want? A Cameroonian 31-year-old is a centre-back who has lost some of his pace, but he's still strong. Nice heading ability, marking, tackling, and positioning. He's not going to play the ball out of defence. He's not very good at that. So as a no-nonsense centre-back for maybe a second division, potentially even third division club, I don't know how low he'd be willing to go. He could be a nice pickup. Remember, if you are playing as like a fourth or fifth division team and you don't see anyone in this list that you think you can pick up, then make sure you do check out the article in the description because there's plenty more options.
options over there. But if you are a high level club, you might be able to bring this guy in, Shotdan Mustafi, who most people will remember playing for Arsenal. He's a German international, but he did go to Schalke after his time at Arsenal. Then to Levante, where he's been let go without playing too much football by the looks of it. Um, and he's still got the ability. Now, I'm not saying he's going to be world class or anything like that, but as a squad option at centre back, maybe a relegation threat and team, maybe not in the Premier League, but say the German divisions, Mustafi could be a good pickup. He's still strong. He's still got all the physical attributes that you'd expect from him. Nice mentals and nice technicals. I mean, there's not too much more to say about him. I imagine he'll command a higher wage than most on this list, but still a very good player if you can get your hands on him. One of my favourites on this list, though, is Argentinian 28-year-old Brian Fernandez, who spent most of his career in Argentina, then went to Mexico and is now available as a free agent. Now, physically, he is quick and agile. Mentally, he's, I mean, pretty well-rounded. There's nothing too crazy there, but it's his technicals where he blows me away for a free agent, really. 15 finishing, the first touch, the dribbling, all at a high level, passing technique and vision combined with set piece ability as well and the ability to cross. I mean, you don't see many free agents able to play at a high level straight away, but I do really think Brian Fernandez is a Premier League quality striker. Whether he would start for a team is another question, but as a free agent, you really can't go wrong here because he's got so much talent and he's going to cost you nothing. Former French international Jan Umvilla is our next player who's 33 years of age here with 22 international appearances. Now he is a Premier League quality player still and you can tell that because Luton are after him. Like I say, he's not going to go and play for Man U or anything like that, but for a low level team, he could be a good pickup. Able to play as a centre-back, central midfielder, or mainly in his natural position as a defensive midfielder, he could be a great option with good teamwork, work rate, passing ability and technique. Combine that with some great mental attributes all across the board and his physicals, whilst his acceleration and pace are starting to lack, they're still not terrible. And in that defensive midfield position, he doesn't necessarily need to be rapid. I mean, it says Luton are interested here. If they did pick him up, it's going to help their chances of survival massively, in my opinion. Playing slightly ahead of him as a natural central midfielder, Sheka could be a great option here. He is a 28-year-old Portuguese national who I believe was playing for Lille. Um, Lille and then he went to Rennes, apparently. I didn't know that. But he did eventually leave Rennes on a free, and now he is available as a very well-rounded midfielder who can play a variety of roles, but mainly is the guy that's going to pick the lock in a defense with nice passing, vision, and technique. Combine that with some good first touch. decision making's pretty good as well. He is going to be the man that tries to play that pass. Deep line playmaker, advanced playmaker, suit him perfectly. His physicals are still there. He works pretty hard, and he can tackle and do the dirty work as well. At 28, he's still got three or four years left in the tank before he really starts to decline, so he could be a very good squad option for a Premier League level team. Easily the most well-known name on this list, though, is David De Gea, the goalkeeper who was, I wouldn't say scapegoated for many years at Manchester United, but was always seen as one of the major problems at the club. Despite winning them a lot of points single-handedly, I suppose he did also lose them a lot of points and didn't really suit the style of play that someone like Ten Hag was after. He got let go as a free agent and still surprisingly hasn't been picked up. So De Gea is still there as a free agent and he's 32, so he's still got three or four years left as a goalkeeper at a high level. Whatever you think of him in real life, in game, he is a very good option who could play for most clubs in the world very comfortably. So if you need a goalkeeper for a top level team, try and sign David De Gea because even though he might command high wages, he is going to be an elite option in the net. Speaking of former Manchester United players, Jesse Lingard is our next option. Aged 30, he obviously has a lot of experience playing for lots of Premier League clubs, playing plenty of times for England's national team as well, can play as a 10 on the left or anywhere really in the midfield areas with great scoring ability. And he hasn't really lost any of his talent just yet. I mean, his pace is still there. His acceleration is there. He's not declining just yet. And he still definitely has something to offer for whatever team picks him up. Played for Nottingham Forest last year and then got let go. He potentially could command high wages as well but if you can sign him you are getting a very talented option for your team who as we saw at West Ham only a few years ago definitely still has a lot in his locker. Speaking of still having it in the locker Javier Pastor at the age of 34 is still a gem. I remember the days when he was one of the biggest wonder kids in the world obviously went to PSG spent plenty of years there then to Roma to Elche then out to the Qatarian divisions and now he is a free agent. Physically look he, he's lost it let's be honest I mean he's not awful 
uh, but he's not going to be running around left, right and centre. But technically and mentally, he is elite, particularly as technical attributes. With 16 passing, 17 vision and 19 technique combined with first touch and dribbling, he is right at the top when it comes to those attributes in world football and he is a free agent. Yes, he is lacking the physicals, but if you played him, maybe as an advanced playmaker, as it suggests here in the midfield, maybe even you drop him deeper as a deep line playmaker on the support duty, he could do a great job. Don't expect him to defend great though with free positioning and four tackling, but if you're looking for someone to pick a lock in a defence, Javier Pastor probably still has a year or two of being able to do just that. Nine players to go now, and our next one is Luan Silva, a 20-year-old Brazilian number 10 who can play up front, who for free is an absolute gem of a signing. At the age of 24, he's still got so many years left. He's been playing for Palmeiras in Brazil, then to Vitoria in the third and second tier. Now he is available as a free agent with great technical ability, decent mentals and physicals, and probably won't command the highest wages in the world. So if you're after some Brazilian flair for your team, then try and pick up Luan Silva. With a similar age profile, we've got Han Kwang Song, a North Korean international with two appearances for the national team, a striker that has decent ability but is never going to blow anyone away but he is a good option to be able to pick up for free. Now he spent some of his time in Italy and some of his time in Qatar, actually got picked up by Juventus for 3 million then went to Al Duhali for 4.4. No idea really how that's ended up working out but now yes he's sitting here as a free agent. He can finish, he's fairly quick with nice composure, his decision making needs some work as does his technique but who knows for free he could just be worth the gamble. Another young Serbian national available for free we've got Dejan Tete here. Spent his career at Reading, now he's been let go. He can play as a central midfielder or a defensive midfielder and whilst he hasn't got any real standout attributes, he's got good work rate, natural fitness, physicals are okay, technicals need some work but if you're looking for someone to bomb up and down and at the very least make you a profit in the future, then try and sign Tetek. At the end of the day, you are going to bring him in for free so as long as he turns out half decent, he'll either be good for you or you can sell him on for at least a slight bit of money. Up there as one of my favourites in this list though is Jose Campana the 30-year-old former Spanish international who is available as a free agent having been let go by Levante. Now, he's played for the likes of Porto and Sevilla. Now, though, he finds himself without a club with 16 first touch, passing technique and vision of a very high level, extremely composed with great decision-making and his physical attributes haven't declined all that much yet. As a playmaker in your midfield or as a number 10, he could be an insane player to be able to get for free. I really do think he's one of the best options here, not lacking in any area particularly great mentals great technicals and his physicals aren't even weak only issue with him though he's got a damaged cruciate ligament for five to six months so he's one to pick up in January at which point it will be a case to see whether he can actually rehabilitate his career or whether that injury is going to take him out and he'll never really recover that's up to you to find out but Campana could be an immense signing for your side five players to go we've got Alex Lopez as our next a striker with decent ability I'm not going to speak too much about him because he's a very well-rounded talent at the age of 20 who's not going to be able to play at a Premier League level or anything like that. But if you're playing in the lower down divisions, could be a nice option. Not really weak in any area, not too strong in any area either. Deep line forward is suggested for him here. Who knows? If you want to try him, give him a go. Another player by the name of Lopez though, we've got Eric Lopez here, a Paraguayan winger who has been let go by his club Atalanta in the MLS, has previously played in the Argentinian and the Paraguayan divisions and now at the age of 21, finds himself as a free agent. Physically, he's got great start acceleration with agility and pace he can dribble well nice technique and work great outside of that he is lacking quite a lot but as an out and out winger maybe in the championship or potentially even at league one level he could be a nice signing for your team Diego Perotti is a former Argentinian international 34 years of age whose physical attributes are definitely on the decline but his technicals and mentals are exceptional still as an option on that wing to create chances to cut in and cause some problems for defenders inverted winger advanced playmaker whatever you want to use him as on that left-hand side. He could be deadly, can take a penalty as well, spent most of his career playing out in Italy and Spain and is now a free agent having played 11 games for Salernitana. Check him out if you want a veteran winger in your team. He could just do the business for you. Former Nigerian international Christian Payagbara is our next player here who physically isn't offering too much. I mean, he's not great in the air. He's not too strong and he's not quick. So yeah, physicals aren't great, but technicals and mentals are okay. His determination is quite low at five. He can also 
play out on the wing, but he spent a lot of his career in the Nigerian and Saudi Arabian divisions. Now, though, he's a free agent who can dribble. Nice technique. Passing's okay. Vision's okay. Uh, finishing is there as well. It's up to you how you want to use him or if you want to use him at all. But with a few years left in the tank, he might just be worth rolling the dice on. And finally, we go for a young fullback. 24-year-old Aaron Barquette has been let go by his club, Ferro, in Argentina. He spent his whole career out there and is now ready for something new without a club to his name. Physically, he's fairly well-rounded, nothing too special. If you highlight the attributes needed for his position, he's pretty much got it all at a low level, ready to step up and get a lot better over the next few years. The former under-20 international still has some talent left in them boots and maybe you'll be the one to get it out of him. So there you go, that's 20 plus free agents for you guys to check out in FM24. Remember, there's a whole list of a bunch more in the description. If I didn't give you enough players, you can get plenty more over there. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed and check out my channel linked in the description below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.